Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready to go into Psalms 11. Father, we thank you that we have a word from you according to Psalms 11, and we want to be educated so that we will be fully aware of everything that you had in mind when you put these words in place. Thank you for allowing us to see. Thank you for educating us so that we'll know how to think and giving us choices in whether or not we will obey you or not. But your word is here and it's settled and it provides and shows that you are God and you know absolutely everything. Thank you for forgiving us of our sins and help us to forgive those who have wronged us. And Father, help me to have few words to say, as you said, because anytime I talk too much, I have problems. So I don't need unnecessary problems. All I have to do is just be quiet. Thank you for being my teacher. And thank you for showing me your curriculum, which is the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, I'm getting ready to eat out of Psalms 11. So far... I have been very um, enlightened and had no idea that the word was so powerful as, I know that it's powerful, but based on what I'm learning, it's, it's powerful, informative, uh, very clear. So I'm getting ready to read out of um, um, King James Version, Virgin, Psalms 11. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to come back. It's only seven verses, so I'm going to read it, and then I'll come back and show you what I believe the Word has given me according to my study. Verse 1, In the Lord, in the Lord put I my trust. How shall you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privately or privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord tries the righteous. But the wicked and him that loves violence is his soul hates. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares. He shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous, for the righteous Lord loves righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. That's the entire Psalms 11. So I want to go back through each verse and tell you what I studied as I decompose. Decompose means I took the word or the verse and I broke down mostly every word that I wanted to know more insight of. Even if it's a familiar word, and, and, but it hit me in a way that I need to get a better understanding. That's what I decomposed that scripture so that I can take it apart so I can see exactly what God is saying. All right. In the Lord put I my trust. This is David. This is, my, this is him telling us a conversation that he had. In the Lord put I my trust. So let's get that clear. I trust the word of God, who is the Lord. I trust the word of God. And that's what David is saying. So let's get that clear. I am king. I trust the word of God. This is what David is saying. And let's give a little background about David. David was appointed king by God. Now, when God appoints a leader, he doesn't care about the vote. The people, God gave Saul an opportunity to be king, but Saul failed to follow God's instructions for the people. So God saw a man, a young boy, 
in the field caring for sheep. When God sees you doing what nobody else cares that you're doing, but you're doing it right, God can raise you up. David was not doing anything but making sure that everything about what he had over, uh, had the right to oversee, that it was properly cared for. God said, I can use you to be an instrument to care for people. So Saul is fired. And when Saul got fired by God or demoted, because God did not say that he could not be a part of the kingdom. He said, you're just not going to be king. I reject you as king. In other words, you can go wash cars. You just can't be king. Saul didn't like it. So God set up David, a man that had already demonstrated, I know how to pay attention to sheep. And God said, if you pay attention to sheep, then I can use you because I know you'll pay attention to people. So whatever you are good at doing before um, you are called by God, that's because God already saw how you took care of your house. He said, you can take care of mine. So if you say that the Lord called you to preach and you're not doing anything and all you do is get up every morning and somebody speaking to your head and you say, the Lord called me to preach. He did not. Because what have you demonstrated in this life that you are attentive to that God wants to bring you out of that? And let's say you are a fisherman like Peter and you, you know, you cared about what you were doing. God said, I can use that to show people how to get to me. Or you a painter, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever you do well as demonstration, God said, I use that and show you how to become that so I can draw men to me. So, um, that's the word. Um, cause what did he say? How would I put you over my house when you don't take care of yours? He said, it don't make no sense. You got something to do, uh, do it well. So the only thing that I do is take what I learned in math and I do the same thing. I would teach math. I took the word of God and broke it down, decomposed it so I can put it back together again and see exactly what he said. Make it easy. All right, and the Lord, he said, David said, now they're trying to kill me. This is how David is starting out with this particular psalm. He knows that his life, I'm, I'm talking about real, I'm not talking about a long time ago story. I'm talking about Saul was actually trying to kill this man. Just imagine somebody trying to kill you. It even hurts when people try to talk about you, let alone kill you. You know, just imagine that somebody want to kill you because you doing what is right. And the only person that I know that somebody killed that was doing what's right, I think of Martin Luther King in my time. That was a real death threat. David had real death threats. He said, and the Lord put I my trust. So let me get that straight. I know what y'all saying. My board of directors, you came to let me know I need to do what you say do. He said, but let's start this meeting off, off correct. In the Lord put out my trust. I got God's word. I trust it. I trust him. He said, how say you? How say you, my soul, telling me my life, flee as a bird to your mountain? Evidently, David had a place where he hid out in caves. And they told David, well, you need to get back up there and hide in your mountain. Is that you, why are you telling me that? I'm not getting ready to run from Saul every time. Now, maybe when I was young, I might have took off, but now I, mm -mm, I've learned to trust the Lord. I've been with him long enough that I can trust. Not getting ready to go back to my mountain. You said your mountain. You say because the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily or privately shoot at the upright in heart. You want to shoot me in the heart. These are skilled guys. They learn to shoot at night. And they want to shoot me in the heart. And they figured if I can get them just right there in the heart, I'm going to call them to bleed to death. David said, now, I trust God, but you want to run, we want me to run from somebody who can shoot really well. 
and they aiming for my heart. And then you say, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? In other words, David, you got the word of God in you. It could be David said that about himself. David said that about God, or they said that about David, regardless of who said it. He's, but the truth, the, the statement was made, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed, I'm going to park there for a, a few minutes. David brought all of that out. And the question was, if it be destroyed, and they, they were kind of concerned, David, if you being the king, you be destroyed. Or David could have been saying that if I get scared being the foundation or God's being the foundation, then what can the righteous do? The question was asked. So what are the foundations? How do we get a copy of the foundations? All right, a foundation is what we have. If you're building a house, it's the it's the it's the ground, it's the beginning part that any builder would do because you can't go up until you start down. So we have to return back to foundational things so that the righteous would know what to do. So what are some foundational things that God wants us to return to? Some principles that would distinguish us from the world. We won't, all right, let's go to, first of all, we're going to go, the first foundation to be put back in place is getting the word of God. Identify the word of God as the beginning, the foundation. Uh, thou shall love the Lord. Thou shall have, thou shall love the Lord with all your heart. Thou shall love the Lord. Thou shall have no other God before me. I'm not sure which one of them, which one came first. In other words, he said, put my word back. I don't have many things that as the foundation. But the thing that I do, he said, don't move that. We got to go back and for real, for real, pick up that book that we sort of skip around. Got to go back and read it. Got to go back and study it. Get the foundation of the word back in order. After you get the word back in order, then he has another list of things that we can do. What have we done in 2021 that we, we moved the foundation? We redefine family. In the word of God, the foundation is family is a man, wife, and they establish children. Point blank, period. Foundational teaching is very, it's, it's like that it become a statue that so much so that if you leave this world, the next generation will see what you believe based on what you set as principles uh, or rules to live by, guidelines. So I can go throughout a whole lot of things and call it foundation, but the foundation is get educated in the word of God. Seek me first. That's your foundation. I can select a few things that we've done. One of my friends yesterday sent me a, a 3D picture of her three and a half month old daughter, granddaughter. Full baby. Like she laying in a, a little bean thing. I saw head, eyes. I saw, I saw three. We got to stop killing babies. Those are things that doesn't make any sense. Because the word says, I, would, I could judge you on this. Do you, want, do you wish your mama had killed you? So that in, you, you already know that's one of the things that you can't do. You get a right to live, but the baby don't. It, that's a foundational thing. Put our marriages back together. Husband and wife. Not up for debate. Say what it is. If you choose to do something differently... Say what God said. Leave that alone. Now, I'm going to say it again. Get back in the word and do what the word said do, and then you will have everything that you need to do. But just so that I will pull a few things that we've done. 
um, get back in the word of God and truly study it. And if you don't know how to teach it, uh, remove yourself from leadership. Simple. You know what you're doing? Remove yourself. Remove yourself before you be moved. If you don't have time to study the word of God. Because the word said in the 10th chapter, you wicked if you don't. And then if you want a position to teach people, you want to teach people right. You want to tell them everything about God. Every single thing there is in his curriculum, teach. So we're going to go back to the word of God. Some other things that we can do. We can um, define marriage the way God said it. We can stop aborting children and all the things that goes along with that. Other things that we could do, we can uh, stay within the guidelines of sexual activity between the husband and wife. Those are foundational things. Those are some very key things. So I can go on list and list and list, but I'm going to stop right there. Return back to, he said, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If you take away the word of God, the simplicity of the word of God, the righteous, what can they do? All right. So David said, you ask me these questions and I'm getting ready to tell you what I want you to know based on what you ask. Verse four, the Lord is in his holy temple. His temple is righteous, it's clean, it's holy. It can be, and he said, I'm going to tell you where it's located. He said, the Lord is in his holy temple. That's why I put my trust in him out of verse one. The Lord's throne is in heaven. So he has a good view of what's happening on earth. It's in heaven and he can see. His eyes behold, it means that he's watching. His eyelids try. So I looked up eyelids because I was like, I never paid attention to eyelids. Didn't know the purpose of them. So I said, now his eyes behold, meaning that he sees. And his eyelids are moistened, have moisture that even at night, when my eyelids are asleep, my, eye, my, my uh, eyelids still at work. They don't go to sleep. His eyelids, he said, I didn't just say my eyes. He said, my eyelids, I'm not sleeping. They are doing what they do. They are clearly being washed like a windshield wiper. Just keeping my, what is it, cornea? Don't let me start saying the names. I just looked it up this morning. My eyelids are at work watching the children of men. In other words, watching people on earth. I see everything. That's what David said. And he said, since my eyes are working well and I'm seated where I said I am and I can see, David said, I trust. I'm not worried about you trying to shoot me in the heart because you can shoot at night privately. If you want to shoot me, let me know. That's what you want to do. But now you want to lurk in the dark and send your uh, arrows at my heart. But when we talk about arrows, we, we, we tend to think that this is a long time ago. Well, in the United States, we don't really shoot people arrows. Not when we're fighting. We got other ways we shoot. All right. Verse five. The Lord tries the righteous. In other words, I'm going to examine you. You're going to go through some things, but understand that it's only something to uh, an examination in school. It tells an indicator on the on the um, chart of data chart to show us how strong you are, because I got to measure you based on an exam. So the Lord tries the righteous. In other words, if you have some situations, you want to be in tried so I can see whether or not you can handle the next level that I want to take you to. But the wicked and him that loves violence, his soul hates. God said, I hate him. He wakes up to do violence. He go to bed to do violence. He communicate with violence. And that's what he does. And he said, I hate it. I hate anybody that want to hurt people. So I, it, so the righteous, he said, now you're going to go through some stuff. He said, but you only being tried. So you'll know what you need to do to go strengthen yourself. Because I want you just like me. 
So you might have to go exercise a little bit harder to overcome the next time somebody says something about you that kind of make you want to cry. Because you, you, he said, you will, you will stop crying. Because I got too much work for you to do. He said, but I hate a man that sit up and, and, and think of evil things to, to try on people. Now listen to what he said he's going to do in verse 6. Since you don't listen to me and you're wicked, and I hate it, let me tell you what I do to people that I hate doing wrong. He said, upon the wicked he shall rain snares. Rain from God means it's coming down. It's going to be for me. He said, you got to understand, anything that's coming down, he said, everything in this earth is ordained by me. Good or evil. He said, on the wicked, he shall rain snares. So what are snares? Anything that keep you from going forward. Why can't our school system go forward? He said, I allowed it. I'm God. Nothing comes. He said, my eyes and my eyelids are working. But you love violence. You told, you told the uh, government to cut me out. Cut the cord off God. He said, cut his mic off. We don't want to hear. I'm sitting in heaven with my eyes wide open. My eyelids are already washed, whatever it is. My eyelids working. I see the righteous and I see the wicked. He said, but let me tell you, like David said, what I'm going to do to the wicked so we can bring this thing off the page to 2021. He said, I'm going to rain snares. Anything to keep you from going. I'm trying to get the wicked to understand I'm God. When we dismiss God out of what we're doing here, who's doing it? Where's the devil? Ah, the devil can't do no more than God allowed. God said, I'm doing it. Verse 6. Upon the wicked. You can't, what is wicked? Anybody that will, if you don't pick up the word of God and get an understanding, he said, you're wicked. He said, I define wicked. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares. You're going to get in things. You're going to know what to do. You're going to have people in leadership going backward and forward like a chicken with a head cut off, trying to come up with things. And then you're going to repeat what they say. You know, this shot will kill you. Shot won't kill you. You won't, you won't die, but you won't get real sick. Where you get that from? I'm just saying, is, is it absolute or not? I'm just saying. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares. Not going forward. I got to show you that I'm God. I said it. God said. Through David, verse 6. He said, I'm going to rain snares. And then what else is going to do? Fire and brimstone. I don't know nothing about fire and brimstone. 2021, we don't talk about fire and brimstone. We talk about it from going to hell. I thought it was... I thought it was something that stinks. I looked it up. I know what fire is, but brimstone, I didn't know what it was. Guess what it is? Gunpowder. Sulfur. I looked it up. Gunpowder. That's what they make bullets out of. Sulfur. Brimstone. And he said, I'm going to rain down. I'm going to rain down guns. For you. Somebody was telling me the other day, they said they don't even understand how guns are provided to the young so much so that they get them and they don't know where they're coming from. God said, I'm making sure they get, a, I'm making sure they get one. Fire and brimstone, put it together. It's called a gun. Look it up. I, I, took, I, I said, what is brimstone? I didn't know. They said sulfur. And I looked up sulfur. I said, what is that? They said, that's what they make bullets out of. And then when you put that fire behind that bullet, God said, I got plenty of them. I'm going to make sure I rain them down. And everybody now almost carrying something. It'll shoot you. We don't know where you're getting them from, why you got an appetite for it. God said, I will give it to you. I will provide it for the wicked. You won't hear me, i let you kill each other. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares. That means you're not going forward, you won't prosper. Now, how in the world we can't get enough peppermint oil, I look for, but you can get enough bullets? Because the word said in chapter 6, 
I'm going to snare you. You're not going forward. Not the wicked. Now, how can we get this corrected? Is you got to go get educated in the word of God. We've taken God's house out looking at it. It's, it's just a big, you know, it's, it's, it's flattering, flattering titles given to men. And they tell people what they say God told them. God said, I ain't tell you nothing. I'm telling you clearly I didn't say that. People got to be educated. Your songs make me sick. He said, this is a song that Psalms 11 is a song that the orchestra and the choir had to sing by David. I studied it. I know 2021, we look like we can't, every time we look like we're trying to go far, we have taken the word of God. And who's responsible? The people that park on Sunday morning. Make more noise. And that's all it is. Sound and brass. Sound and brass. Oh, they're getting to something out of that now. And tinkling cymbal. Your tambourines and your organs and your and your trumpets, all of that. He says, sound and brass and tinkling and cymbal. And we don't know chapter 11. Don't know chapter 10. And it's easy. All you gotta do is get just break it down like a like a like a math problem. Just take the words of lose, look them up. And I'm not making it up. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares. That means you're not going forward. You're going to get caught in a trap. You're going to think that you got the answer and it's not going to work. How's it not going to work? Just keep watching. You got What's got to work? What has to return for it to work is my word has to be taught correctly. He said, I'm God. Wicked, he shall rain snares. And, and this is what I would tell people. Get in the word. Read it right. Because the government is going to need a Joseph and they're going to need a Daniel for them to say, what can we do? Because something is not right. We either got to hear what God said and try it. We got to, you got to be like, um, like Jonah. When Jonah was in that boat, the captain of that ship said, something is wrong up in here. And Jonah said, I'm the problem. And the man said, no, nah, we ain't going to throw you overboard like you asked another to do. He said, throw me overboard. I'm the problem. And so he said, now, so they start throwing over cargo and trying to make the ship lighter. And the wind only got worse. It is going to get worse. That's by the pattern of what I know God does. Until we get educated and demand that we at least read the word to see what God is saying so we can make choices. You can't close the book on him. He said, how did he write this? And I'm 61. I'll be 62 next week. I'm just not reading this. And I've been a church going person all my life. I was as wicked as everybody else and didn't know. Wicked does not mean all you got to do is close the book and don't read it and you're wicked. I don't care what you feel. I feel like I'm right. No, wicked people don't know. They, they don't. Some of them wicked and they don't know. it. <laughs> you only know you're wicked when you get the word defined by God. He said, wicked. wicked people don't read the word. He said, you're wicked. You do things that's crooked and twisted. You make up things. Wicked is, is taking a, 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 take you know, just twisting, just getting it, getting it out of its right form and twist it. Just, 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 just that's all it is. He said, I'm going to rain snares. You ain't going forward. I'm telling you now. You're going to use guns, fire and brimstone. That's right now. I ain't talking about when you when when hell open. We talk about it then. He's ain't talking about then. I just realized there's gonna be a lot of gunshots in hell. Because he said fire and brimstone. So the sound of guns is gonna be constant. Is that what fire and brimstone is? Gunpowder. Look it up. Don't trust me. I'm just reading. Brimstone is sulfur. Sulfur is gunpowder. Well, I didn't know, don't go in there and get it because I know they said, well, you got to have some sulfur in your food. It's gunpowder. It is not, this book is too easy. Fire and bullets. Going to be shots in hell. Bullets going off. Constant fire. That's what the word said. Lake of fire. I just imagine it being just where you took constantly burning. He said, you're going to be hearing some sounds up in there. 
Just like we making them now. You got all these bullets and all these guns. He said, imagine living with that and that's all you hear. I ain't going. No, no. I don't want to go. Every day I get in this word, I say, I ain't going. I'm going to class for to learn this word. And he said, upon the wicked, he shall rain. Rain means it's coming from him. I sit in heaven. Rain comes down by my word. I'm going to send bullets. I'm going to put them in the hands of children. Until you give me my right to be known, it ain't going to get in the building. Shot. You can take a shot all day long. I'm not, I don't, I'm not against the shot. I ain't smart enough to talk about the shot. I know what this book said. I know what we're doing. I know we told God to mute. I know we said we don't want the word. I know we have church without God. I know his name is there. I know we draw people there because he's there. But when we get there, I can't find him. He said, I can't find myself. And I see my address on it. You got my name on there. Jesus said, you know my name, but I exalt my word above my name. Upon wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone. I'm sitting in heaven. My eyes are not asleep. I know what I'm doing. I'm providing bullets as you speak. And I'm going to send a horrible tempest. I looked that up. Strong, violent winds. That's what he said. I'm going to, if you don't want me, these are the things that I wrote a long time ago. That will happen until you realize you've got to return to me. I am instructions for life. I am good for life. I'm God. I made life. You cannot operate without me. It's impossible. I meant this a long time ago. You thought that the weapon tree was always going to be bow and arrow. Yep, it was bow and arrow, but you've increased. Now you got something that I permitted, and it's called fire and brimstone, and I'm getting ready to show you horrible winds, tempest, violent. He said, this shall be the portion of their cup. The things that I'm telling you, what's happening? You're not going forward. What else? You're going to have plenty of bullets, gunpowder, and the next thing you get ready to see, you finna see the wind do some stuff that let you know that I'm God, according to uh, Psalms 11, verse 6. And guess what he said? This shall be the portion of their cup. I thought cup meant something to drink. He said, no, this is going to be your trophy. Cup means trophy. You got to get in the word. Your trophy is going to be, you're not going forward. You're going to get shots, all kind of shooting. You don't know where these guns come. God said, I'm raining them down. I got people, I don't know how they're doing it, but he said, if you don't want me, you're going to kill each other. And I ask you to let me be me, because with you, you're going to kill each other. You're not trying to kill each other most time because you want to hurt anybody. You're trying to protect yourself. And I'm going to give you something to protect yourself. It's not that you're going to do the killing. It's just that you got what you got because you think you need help. And, and David said, in the Lord put out my trust. You're going to get a trophy. And the trophy would be what I just said in verse 6. You're going to protect yourself. And I'm going to be looking at you from heaven. You want something to protect you? I make sure you get it. You don't want me? I give you. What you say? You want guns? He said, hey, just get the guns together. Produce the gunpowder. And let them do what they do. Until they realize, you're men, I'm God. Last verse. For the righteous, he said, now I got the people that's going to get in the word. I got you. It ain't nowhere in the world I close this book. You don't go to church the way I was born from the womb. And I heard the sound of the tambourine and the, and the harps and the tinkling cymbals. And the songs, I heard it all my life. So when I got out the womb, I'm already clapping. And then I brought my children up based on what I heard in the womb. Because that's how much I went to church. I did everything but get in the book. Raised my children up on the wicked teach teaching. Uneducated teaching. Clapping and jumping and shouting, going to heaven. And now we get a trophy. I ain't going. I read this book. Until I get educated in my head. I like talking to God. because My son called me yesterday. 
He said, Mama, he said, um, are you trying yourself to be that disciplined in the world like that? I said, I love it. I like talking to people that know what they're talking about. I've always been like that. That's why I kept watching people. And I kept watching them because I said, they're interesting. Even when I was a little girl, if you made sense, you got my attention. And if you made so much sense, it was like, God, you scared me. But I still held on to what I knew about God because I said, I can't let you get me too far off because you sound like you're smart. But somewhat, something ain't right about it. I had a teacher in, 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 uh, my, when I was in my uh, freshman year in college. That guy was preaching against God until it was almost believable. I said, Lord, if, you don't let, if, you, if I can't hang on to this, there's some people out there that can make you look, look at God's word and say, God's word ain't real. I bet you that man, to this day, I want to say, I forgot his name, but I bet you he got a trophy. The way that man hated God, tall white man. I know he got, I think he got fired. I'm not sure I had to go back and look at my transcript to see what that man's name is. No, I, I was like, God, I'm about that. I had never heard it because number one, I didn't know anything about but wearing long dress, no lipstick. So I ain't had no weaponry on me to go against what he was saying. Try me now. Then he could have got me. He almost had me. But now, try me now. Try me now. He said, but for the righteous, this is what we want to be. When you talk about God, you must see the negative and the positive. If you don't see the negative and the positive, God said, I'm not there. If all you get is, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, that's all you get, God said, I'm not there. Because you fool people. You make them think that I'm a big Santa Claus where I just only bring gifts. He said, I don't play that. You got to look, I have to look at this word every day. To see where I'm wrong and where I'm right. And what decision am I going to make based on what I just read. Last verse. For the righteous Lord. God said I'm right now. I get a trophy for being right. Anybody write this. And I'm 62 almost. And this book. This been sitting here and I'm just reading. Who right. Because I know I see that. I never thought I'd live in a day like this. Never. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares. Fire and brimstones. And harbor winds. They shall, that shall be their cup, their trophy. You know how you get the winning cup? He said, that's your trophy. He said, you don't want me. You don't want my word. He said, however, the last verse said, for the righteous Lord loves righteousness. I like people that do right. You can't do right without my word. It's impossible. Faith is the word of God. It's impossible to please him without the word. You can't give God something that you thought. He said, I don't play that. There's no reason why I made it easy. Get a dictionary. Look it up. Read one chapter. Put that in your head. I put it in my head in the morning. I put it in my head at night. And I, every time I get a break, I study in between. I talk about it. I think about it. I want, that's how I did math in school. I want to make sure them kids knew what they were talking about. But the righteous Lord loves right. Treating people right. What does God hate? Fraud. Fakeness, lying. He said, your tongue on the top is deceiving and on the bottom of it, is your whole mouth is full of bribery. Everything that you say that God said, you got to go back. We've got to go back and, and stand up and say we're not having it anymore. If a man can tell, if you can make a law out of another man saying, I want another man. When do we get to the point that we put sex as a law? That is crazy. That's a natural instinct of a body. Why you got to make a law out of it? You cannot twist it. You can't sleep with a baby. You can't sleep with a cow and a chicken. People sleep with fowls. The word said, I said, I said, I said Lord, I said, you got to hit that. Wait a minute, God, wait, 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 what you, what you just say? They sleep with chickens and fowls. I said, not nobody sleep with no bird. The next three days, my brother called me. I'm sitting up there saying, I ain't never heard that, Lord. He said, I'm sitting in heaven, my eyes open. He's sleeping with a chick. Then he take his seven sleep with a woman. And how did they do that? I was, I, I kid you not, when I read that, when he was giving Moses the instruction, my brother called me and he's not a reader of the word. He's just telling me what he saw. He said, I'm telling you what they do. 
He said, I hire these guys, and they stay in a little rural area in Mississippi. They stay out in the country. They play a game out of like they like like the man that was playing dog things. He they take the chicken, they sit in a rocking chair and they back and forth on the chicken, and they 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 they, they pen, penetrate the chicken. And when the chicken gets so disoriented, they watch him die and they call it a sport. I kid you not. Every time I'm in the word, God will line something up there just to back it up. I'm telling you, get ready to see. You already see guns. Strong wins. He says it's going to be your trophy. You do not want me. I'm going to clear all I need is somebody to say it. I got to have you to say it. Somebody got to read it. So when you see it, I get you to return back to my word. Strong wins. Guns. Snares. He said, but I love Roger and his countenance. He said, my face, I look and I behold. I behold the upright. I behold. He said, I'm looking and I'm smiling at the upright. For the righteous Lord loves righteousness. What is righteousness? It's not you going to church. It's you being educated in the word of God. So when you go sit upon the people, who are you funding? Who are you giving your money to? All of that money God is saying to the church, give it back. Put, give it back. Give it back to the people. You'll get that money back. I'm going to send a strong wind. You already got guns. We already got, we can't hardly go forward because we don't know where to go get stuff. He said, I'm finna send a strong wind. Horrible tempest, that's what he said. And this is not talking about, because it, it's not talking about the book of Revelation because the, the word said it's going to tell the wind to stop blowing. It's going to be no wind. This is something that you got to see now so when you see it, you can remember that uh, Psalms 11 and 6, God said, you wonder where the all these guns coming from. He said, I'm making sure that you get them. You got to protect yourself. That word. So, Father God, we thank you today. Last verse, for the righteous Lord loves righteousness. His countenance does. My face do keep my eyes on the upright. I got to hear my, he said, I got to hear my word. I don't hear my word. And I don't have to say anything. All I had to do is read. I had to give you those subject. And I see people do this word every day. May the strong winds of God either change your heart so you'll start educating the people. Or, Father, we thank you that teachers would teach or somebody would care enough to teach people how to teach. You have to know how to teach. You got to teach. People have to be taught. And you have to have people that know how to teach. We got handicapped people in the brain, in the mind, who does everything and they get up and they screw this word up. You can't do that. You got to have teachers to do that. You got to have people who care enough to study it. This is not a book that you put in the hand of a man and say, God called me to preach you a lie. The book is too serious. He said, I don't call people like that. My people know what they're talking about. They'll study. They'll search. They want people to get it. And that's why for the last two years since I retired and the Lord gave me, he said, if you, the way you taught math, I want you to do like David. You, you know how to handle those sheep going in and decompose these, this, this verse and pick up these scriptures and, and look at them right and, and tell people, just get a simple dictionary and look up cook and look up fire and brimstone, look up brimstone and tempest. Look these words up. That's all I'm doing. You don't want me. I got to give you something to protect yourself. Get by your gun. You don't want me? You don't want my word? You don't think I can see? That's all this job I'm talking about. I ain't have to tell you my subject is. My subject is nothing. My subject is study the word. Let's get it clear. We, I don't want to live in hell where I'm going to hear nothing but gunshots. I didn't know that. What that's when it said fire and brimstone. I didn't know what that was. It's gunpowder. He said, and that's a bottom. You go, who wants to live like that? I can't even stand living in the neighborhood hearing gunshots right here. You think I want to live in a place what they do all day? No, no. And you'll never die? I looked it up. I'm telling you, don't trust me. I'll tell anybody, go behind me. 
Go behind me and look and see if you see it yourself. Because we, 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 we just hear fine brimstone, we get scared. He said, you got a brimstone in your hand right now, in your house, in your purse, in your car. I ain't know. Oh, well, look. Father, we come to you today, and I have given everything that I, that I know to give according to it. You know how I taught in school. You know the type of teacher I was. You know that the State Department called me and gave me some letter saying that they've not, never seen anybody come in the class. Well, I can't say never, but what I was read, when you have trained more people the correct way, and they wanted to give me a trophy for saying that, they applauded what I tried to do for the last 33 years of my life. And that was be the best teacher I knew how to be. And then when I left, they gave me some letter saying all of this. I didn't think nothing of it. I was glad to get out of school. But then you asked me, he said, study my word the way you study math. And that's what I do. From May 24th, 2019, I have been saying, people, let's get in the word. And here it is, August 7th. I'm still saying the same thing. I am in your word. I studied every word of your word that I did not understand or merely had a little insight or none. And I took my time and I looked at it and I said, wait, well, this is relevant. It's relevant. And Father, I thank you that the people that will hear your word will fall on their face again and say, Forgive me, Lord, for being ignorant of what you had in here so plainly written that I have not taken notice of. Lord, I expect angels around this house. I don't want fear of darkness. I don't want fear of daytime because people ain't just killing. This guy was shooting at David at night. I don't want shooting in the day. I don't want shooting at night. I, don't, I want to be safe. If I'm going to do your word, then let me live. I want people to hear the word of God every single day that you let me live and you let me breathe. I would take a chapter and I would try my best to unfold it the best I know how. I would give you absolutely everything that I know that you said that you will accept. And I would be corrected. I would ask you to forgive me of sins when I talk too much or when I think that I know something and I don't. I'm going to stay in this class until I get it right. You've shown me things about me. I'm staying with you until I get it right. I love your word. And I love learning. But God, what I love the most is that you have allowed me to say what I have to say. And I pray that we would take this word and investigate it and stop the foolishness of religion. We've taken Jeroboam's way. Way back in the book of Kings, Jeroboam has taught us to be divided. There is no, I had not said one thing that could make any man think that you got to be a religious person to receive what I just said. Ever since I've been reading your word, I found out you ain't got nothing to do with religion. You have instructions for man that I know for sure. Thank you for being my savior. Thank you for being my educator. And thank you for allowing me to do what I did today. And may I see chapter 12. I don't know what chapter 12 says, but today is my day to turn the book on chapter 12. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Good. Hey, Rico and Linda, y'all have a good day. Stay in the Word or start the Word. Get in it.